Just kidding. What else am I gonna fucking do? Done it before. It's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow the instructional pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting, and that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. If you order the Stanley Parable 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single egg will produce over a thousand cows, which- Hold up, cow egg? Yo, she is- what is she doing? tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting and that's packaging the game with collector's edition this she's like dragging something on the egg merchandise if you order the stanley parable 2 you'll receive this cow's egg a single egg will produce over a thousand cows which are of course the sequel to pigs and there you have it Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. Of course, you may know that there is also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ah, oh, Jesus is dead. Thank you for five months, buddy. Have you fertilized your cow eggs lately? Also, Ace Fishes with four months. Thank you. Mike, do you have a favorite baseball team? Um. No, man. No. No, man. Baseball is for nerds. No, nah, man. Baseball sucks. No. Nah. Citric Acid with uh, 37 months. Mike, I'm watching you, and I'm excited to think what you think of this game. Oh, well, this game is just fantastic. Um, oh, I, oh, I love this game. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is, who gives a shit? All that matters is... <laughs> Did that Stanley said shit? I still want to know what the egg rubbing thing is about. Also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. He's so he's not Stanley, by the way. I, I know this. I know he's not Stanley. Which game is the true sequel to the Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working. So Albino Octopus with uh, 66 months. Thank you so much, buddy. Round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is who gives a shit? Oh, he like I rewinded it because I wanted to say like why he said who gives a shit and I still don't know because I keep getting distracted. Child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to and after many weeks of diligent research the conclusion they've reached is who gives a shit. You know what I'm starting to get to a point where like I don't give a shit. All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. Sure don't. You just want to eat bubblegum and cheat at hopscotch. So Well, you don't eat bubblegum, asshole. That's how you get a bubblegum tree in your tummy, you stupid fuck. Get out there and consume. Do your civic duty and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley Parable 2 <laughs> on every platform. Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. It's through community efforts like these that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. Uh, Don't let the, the time traveling time vampires Dracula. win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels for today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond. Yeah, okay. So here's uh your 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 fucking um the other shit, I don't know. If you're more of a prequel sort of person, check out the Stanley Parable, uh which would be the prequel Stanley Parable 2. Um as there's a, a germa clip let me see this. Is it there? All right. 
Wait, what? What? <laughs> they put the... So they they edited the website like while he was streaming it to fuck with him? A fucking tarantula. Right now, a man called Jerma is exploring the exhibit. <laughs> He's reading this right now. <laughs> They really, they really did that. They really did that, huh? They really, they really did that. They really did that. Oh, okay. They really did it. Who is that guy, Vinny? Who is that guy? Who, who is that guy? Okay, hold hold on a minute because I'm having some some difficulties here. The game capture, yeah. Okay, who's that guy, Jim? Who's that guy, Jim? All right. So anyway, th th that whole fucking clusterfuck of everything was because of this fucking QR code. Like, we just went down a rabbit hole with that QR code. I don't know any of your daffy pals, mate. I don't know your daffy fucking pals. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? I was just completely ignoring what he was saying. I'm getting to a point where, like, his dialogue is, is just... My brain is, like, auto-filtering it out, you know? The Stanley Parable 2. Get well someday, or happy 12th birthday, Stepnis. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it is. No, that's not what I pressed. I hate- I hate this game. Alright, so they just fucking took the, my illusion of choice and just straight up told me no. They were like, no, you pressed the button that you didn't press. They would have done the opposite if I had done the opposite. That's- this is the entire game distilled into its purest essence. Right? This is all word diarrhea. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with- no. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. It looks like a new and improved jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the That wasn't circle. a meme. Chat was telling me not to use them oh, all. Well, I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Chat. You fucked me. Yeah, they were they were trying to tell me that thing spins, dude. I thought it was quantum because when I first saw it, it was like looking at me, and then I turned around, and then I looked back, and its back was facing me. Wow, you know what? There's so much to do and so much to see, so much to do, so much to see, so much to do, so much to see. Is this seriously everything? Well, you know, you, you can't say that the game doesn't have new content. You, you actually, you can't. You quite literally can't exit. All right, well, I'm not I'm not quite ready for that yet. Um, how about the free, new, and easy achievement? I can't believe it's that simple. Right, it's got an achievement, right? That's huge. All right, let, let's listen to their fucking epic commentary on achievements in games. You know it's going to be epic. And so insightful. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, why is it well, shady, man? developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. 
Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. You know I'm going to pull this lever, and they're not going to give me the achievement, right? So thought-provoking! Bro, I've taken more thought-provoking shits. Like, I'm not kidding. There were fucking shits that I left in the toilet where I got up and I looked at what I had done and I fucking just went deep into thought about the nature of the fucking universe because of the way this shit was shaped and the texture and the color and just kind of the overall vibes of the stool. Okay? D d more to a bigger degree than this game has done. Okay? Mike, you're assuming that this game is taking itself so seriously and it's so bizarre. Shit vibes. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology yeah. that will exist. Right mm -hmm. now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Do you see this little window that's, like, starting to open? At 4 p.m., I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna slide my dick into into there. And just press this fucking lever over and over and over. Yoda moment. Anon, thank you for the gift sub to shit takes. Shit takes. It's really fun. You know, the fucking ending the stream bit was really not worth it because now those two streams have to be edited together into one video. It's going to be a big fucking pain in the cock for Teal. Like, Teal, I apologize for that in advance, man. It's very meta, though. Well, I, I felt like the, the whole s fucking night has been meta, so I just went for it, you know? It was like, it, if you're ever going to do that, like, this, this is the fucking game to do that? Like, come on. But no, dude, this is stream two. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Mike pressed the skip button on chat. That person did legitimately annoy me, though. Don't don't fucking talk about people leaving. Come on, shut the fuck up. Just just shut the fuck up and leave if you're gonna leave. Come on, that's fucking that, that's fucking Twitch etiquette 101, be dude. Fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the um. Uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Just shut the fuck up and leave. What the f what, what, what 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 is that shit? This stream is the ultra deluxe version. You heard Jim in the in the game. Like nobody likes that. Like, oh hi, let me let me let me just have somebody sit in chat and, and fucking you know, like like just make me believe like I, I my fucking broadcast is a failure. What what the fuck would you why? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Come on. That should be very easy to understand. I don't think that's hard to put yourself in that fucking situation. And try to imagine what the, what the problems with, with doing that. Like, come on. Mike the Bucket. Mike the Bucket. Here's my plan. I'm going to take the bucket. I'm going to shit in it. And then I'm going to carve my name in it on a cold winter's night. What do you think, chat? Hey, Radio Rosewater. Mike, is your Twitch chat an integral part of the entertainment value of your streams? I'm curious to hear. So you are you asking me if my chat improves my enjoyment of the stream or are you asking me if this chat improves other people's in enjoyment of the stream the 
Yes. Here's the deal, right, with with this with this chat. This chat is a lot like this guy in that they like to huff their own farts, right? This chat believes that they are an integral aspect of the entertainment value of these broadcasts. They think if they, you know, if they were in here, that there would be no entertainment value at all. Um, to which I say, balls, okay? And I think that this chat could afford to get over, get over themselves a little bit. That's what I think. Okay, obviously the answer is yes. And, uh, and obviously this fucking thing is hooked up to his asshole, which is why he's huffing his own farts. Okay, I just wanted to be clear on that. Maybe some people weren't did, did, didn't get that part. Uh, he's actually actively inhaling his own fucking gas uh, through this hose, which is hooked up to his asshole. Uh, his name is Glup Shido. He is um, from, I think, the Star Wars uh, prequels. Um, Mike, every time you upload a stream to YouTube, the chat is not included, so the chat might not be integral. No, it is fucking absolutely is. The, the chat is like, you know what this is actually the best way to describe this is? And I don't know if, the, the, I, I think that this is like, this is true for a lot of streamers. Not, not all, definitely not all streamers. Definitely not all, but for a lot of streamers, it's like this. I'm kind of like, I'm like a car. And chat is like the dragon that's fucking me aggressively in the tailpipe. While I say kerchow, kerchow, kerchow. No, let me rephrase that. I am like a car. And chat is like the gasoline. Like chat's actually the fuel. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like, chat's the fuel that keeps it going. Like, it, it, it is, you know. Chat is the lubricant that turns the gears of my brain. 100%. And also, uh, not only like that, the, the, not, it's not only a creative juice, but it's also a, um, uh, a motivational juice as well, right? Like, chat's, you know, it's in chat, and they're, and they're being, you, you know, like part of everything right like being sitting in chat and, and being active and, and talking and, and saying things and 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 reacting to things and overreacting to things that is fucking a, a, a super important part of like the feedback loop like that goes into my brain and then that gets processed through my brain and then goes back out to the chat does that does that make sense there's a chat replay, and the chat replay is disabled on every upload. Is there something wrong with that fucking chat replay again? Stop. Collect them all. Can you find them? 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 Ah, can I find one? Oh, now it's a real video game. Oh boy, In more commentary. Buckle up. You'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like every fucking game called the fuck out, right? You're on remarkable life. I went out of my way to make sure there would be absolutely no fucking reward for collecting these fucking things at all. Look at these men. <laughs> okay. All right, so tonight I went from, like, not really getting what this game was trying to say to getting what this game was trying to say. 
to feeling like I am being beaten over the head with what they're trying to say to the point where I'm getting a fucking concussion. Look at the Stanley. Look at him. He's so sad, right? <laughs> okay. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game. Stanley Funko Pops? Fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Infinite hole. It won't end. All right, let's check out the hole, guys. I did want to check out the bucket, but like I'm lost and I can't find it. Whole like infinity, distant space, time, distant space, time, space like infinity, distant path, 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 time, deeper. How about you check my hole? Let's see it. Come on, put your money where your mouth is. Where's the hole? I'm waiting. Don't let your mouth write checks, your hole can't deliver. Okay? Opening. Rim, depth, infinite, surrounding area. Goat see reference? Hole entrance, infinity. Infinite hole chart. Hole, more hole. Infinity, falling, more. Educational use only. Infinite hole. Hey, look, chat. It's your mother. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, that's some. Um, even got a little loop, loop de loop in it, huh? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I mean... I'm gonna have to get in that hole. Portal did it. Yep. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. It's not gonna work. I don't wanna. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Why? You said it was infinite. It sooner rather than later spectrum of things. He didn't finish the hole. He okay, didn't. Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated I it. the yeah, infinite he didn't finish, nature of the he hole. Didn't finish the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom. It didn't kill me though. You found me out, Stanley. And I happen to know that there is fall damage in this game because I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the Fuck issue fraud. here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me? Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. No, I want to stay here. Um, He has his revenge. You're trapped forever. Mike, you got the zending. That that ending sucks. Well, 
there's a fucking ending where like you have to basically jump off of a high like catwalk to die to the point where it was like <clears throat> they put a content warning in the game because it was like it's basically you know th they call it like the suicide ending to the point where like you know if you're gonna really be upset by that you can actually I don't know opt out of the ending like they actually added that to the game if you didn't want to if you didn't want to do that you have the option not to do that it's very grim and not fun i saw that ending it, it, it it's like it's like dark it's like fucked why would someone be upset by that are you trolling what the fuck i just want to chill down here forever darkest thing in the game i think so yeah great now i'm very excited to show you even more oh for heaven you see i was right the problem is you the problem is that you like holes too much not normal a normal person would have said yep that's an infinite hole right there goes on forever till the end of time don't need to see it all maybe i'm doing it because there's literally nothing else to do oh, but not you oh no 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 you have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Definitely did. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you it was way shorter, you yeah. of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. I mean, it stands to reason if I jump in it again... It's going to be even shorter. But what is this a metaphor for? Like what like what is it what could this possibly be? Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. It's got to mean something. So much more to show you and to talk about. And I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, how could I have guessed you're back in the hole? It's a metaphor. If this starts to become a thing with Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to become... I think it's a metaphor because the first time is always the best. The first time with something is like always the best. Is that what you're saying? Slippery Elm said, the hole keeps getting shorter like my dick. Yo, why is your dick eroding? Like what's like what's happening to your dick? Like why why are you why are you losing fucking like a mass on your penis? Like what? Wait, what, what is, wait, what could that possibly have meant? What could that, what does that mean? What does that mean? Zerked too hard. The ravages of time. Reverse jelk. Chafed dick. Receding into his body. Giving my homies an inch each. I'm extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. <laughs> not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, I, oh, oh I'm in here. Who am I to judge? And he can't jump, remember? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button uh -huh. when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is the um teleport button not working? Stun locked. You sure? Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing. 
Well, I suppose. Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Hold I again. Might. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away <laughs> from fuck your you, he leaps. And now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the whole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. This is what I call wholesome content. <laughs> Let me give a shout out to Ruby Prism. Who said, hey, Mike, Joel talks about you all the time, and I decided to come check out your channel. Hey, I really appreciate that. Thank you for stopping by. So when Joel talks about me, it's only nice stuff, right? Like he never said anything fucked up about me, about how I have a small small pee-pee or anything. Like, you know. he, ne he, he never, he never, ever says, says anything mean about me right i hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity together we're going to be united in holy matrimony me and the whole what mike he said your ass is loose after he fucked you in geoguesser The music, though. Zakute is pointing out that the hole is now infinite. Oh, wait. This hole is shallow and pedantic. I think the game is trying to say something. Okay, it says change your perspective. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? What is this? Change your perception. This song is called the Fart H Fart Huffers Bop. Change your reality. No, it's ironic. <laughs> Wait, what's that? <laughs> what is what is that? Okay, he's a robot. Annoying as fuck. Thank you for ten months of support. How do I remove my credit card? Uh you trying to cancel the sub or are you trying to remove the microplastics from your body? I'm confused. Tate pack with two months, thank you. Well, there you go, there's your fucking foot shot. Here's the feet you've been craving, guys. Stanley? 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 
Fuck. Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you... We're Wolfie with the gift subs. Thank you. It was turning into a real game. It was, though. Well, to keep you really, truly focused on the hole. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of Apparently, chat's saying I missed a bunch of wacky shit. Like, if you mash the buttons, there's a lot more wacky shit. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Oh, no. Uh, apparently, you were timed and failed. I, f I failed? Unknown. What, 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 what do you mean I failed the Stanley parable? What the fuck are you talking about? I failed. You failed. Failure. You failed. A timer starts? It's... Oh. What happened? The fuck? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Uh, they bring you back here, I guess? Alright, let's get this bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, That's, I agree I'm with that. happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Somehow doubt that. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Oh, Come she burped and she farted and she shit on the floor. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And I have fact, a bucket. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. And Yona with four months of support, thank you. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. My shit in the bucket. Where's the shit button? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Sorry, that goes to the Minecraft mod. Um, that meme ever playing that time? Was it? What was that really painful Minecraft mod? Sevtech ages. Sevtech ages. Where we had to play the game for about six months before we could craft our first bucket. Because of how painfully slow the fucking like crafting tree was. Three months for a bucket? No, bro, it was it was like six months. Six months for a bucket. I'm going back to the hole. Jabroni Mike official, thank you for 27 months, bud. Hey, uh, bad font keeming. What's up, bud? Thanks for coming tonight. Wait, was your first experience with modded Minecraft Sevtech? That's really bad. Well, it wasn't great! No, that wasn't our first, um, experience with it. Right? We were, we were, we did something else first. We did, um... We did like 
I think the dinosaur. No, the dinosaur one we, we did after, didn't we? They're not letting me go in the hole, uh, guys. Not allowed. Yeah, they locked the hole. Holes closed. Enable no clip. What am I supposed to do with the whole the, the fucking bucket though? Like, can I? What do you want from me? Like, I still have the collectible. Jump circle. This map. Free achievement. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Merch. Settings world champion. Stanley Pablo reassurance bucket. Office decorations. Epilogue. Collectibles. Infinite hole. Exit. Um... Fuck is settings world champion. It's a hashtag. Do you even see a, a, a hashtag on here? I, I do. Okay, you are here. Okay, so. I want to go through here, I think, and make a left. Cowan, bud, thank you for 50 months of support, man. Thank you so much. Settings world champion isn't worth it. It doesn't. It also doesn't exist, dude. So I. <coughs> Don't do the settings one, Mike. You will whine and moan about it. You need to set every slider to every number and toggle all the options in the settings to get. Oh, that's fucking ass. Something I'm good. Um, what about epilogue? What about, what about that? What about epilogue? Worst way to say it. Honestly, a waste of time to do one stream. On, on stream, you meant? Okay. Like what? Is this the uh, epilogue? Yeah, here we go. All right. I think we 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 haven't been up here, right? We haven't we haven't seen this. Infinite hole, free achievement. All right. mm, have we been up here? That that's the fuck you're talking about. Okay, that that's, that can fuck off. No, no, I'm drawing the line. I gotta draw the line somewhere, dude. Mike, you saw everything. So is this like all the new content? Like, just leave? Well, shit, alright. Alright, right. <laughs> have you seen everything you wanted to Did you buy this game or was it now? gifted? <laughs> oh, I bought it. Because I'm a fucking penis. <laughs> What is... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I bought it. Oh. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the? I wanted to see the fucking yes, hole again, man. I'm pissed. Clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going. They to already work. did, champ. You did it. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Spoiler alert! It doesn't. Experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, uh, it's just literally well, all the things um, I mean, there's potential here, right? combined. <laughs> sort of. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me. Um, I was trying to be a dick, but I'm actually just right. Do a different arrangement. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version two. <sighs> I like the brap sound. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. 
And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I'm gonna put I a gag in your fucking mouth, bro. To create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? <laughs> Roy said, this man bought a game just to shit on it. That's something I can get behind. Well, I didn't just buy it to shit on it. I wanted to give it a fair shake. You know? I mean, this game was so critically acclaimed. I wanted to see if it lived up to the hype. I... I, 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 I like it. All right? I, I came around on it. All right? I mean, I, I get it. I, I this is, Okay. Does it live up to the hype though? No. I still don't believe it lives it lives up to the hype. I don't I don't hate it, but it doesn't live up to all the hype that it it doesn't deserve all the hype that it gets, I don't think. All right. Drail, thank you for 16 months. His thinking isn't black and white. No, it's not. I suppose it could, but no, it would need a really, really opinion has morphed screen. as I experience the game. Screen that more. Says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable team. Hype is overhyped. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Ew, nuanced thought. Gay! Good look. Dude. Dude. Chicken says, honestly, Mike, I came into this stream not knowing a thing about this game, and now I hate it. Anybody else? <laughs> did I did I cause anyone else to hate this game? Listen, if you're gonna shit on something, you gotta shit on it right. Okay? You gotta fucking consummately experience it so you can more effectively deconstruct it and make people feel terrible for liking it. That's the point. That's why I spent the $30. Because if I'm gonna make people feel like shit, I'm gonna do it right. Okay? I'm just kidding. I'm just... But I was telling the truth about that one person who, who played all the way through Outer Wilds, beat the game only so they could fucking be justified in shitting on, shitting on it. Kind of respect that. Why? Why? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through That's a game, uh, desk. someone in chat. What's up? What buttons to push. Uh, that's what reviewers do, somebody said. Right, like, well, I mean that's that's their 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 job. Uh, Zalgato Iluvatar, yeah. Thanks for coming tonight, but um, the sequel is now paused. It says, yeah, it says the sequel is now paused. Well, I think reviewers actually get keys, right? Product keys. I didn't get any fucking. I didn't get a fucking key for this. How long to push them, and in what order? I ain't this cool enough. I ain't cool enough for keys. I got I got pay for everything. I don't, I don't get fucking keys. At least not for anything I actually want to play. Put it to you that way. Seven did every day of every month of every year. I, don't I wonder why. Quite... Probably because I talk about semen constantly. Have considered it so ending. Stanley relished every moment. Mike, of the... I got keys. The keys to your mom's house. The orders came in as though he had been made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. 
He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he We're looking for differences because this is supposed to be the sequel now. So like, what's you know, what's different? Right? No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say balloons. Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up. I'm somewhat upset that most reviewers don't complete the game and yet speak on it in an objective manner. I I feel strongly that if you did not play the game all the way through, then you have you you. you I don't think you, you should write an article on it. Like how, like how can you review something you you didn't fully experience? Uh, that that that's where I sit on that. Now I know like Mike, they can't be expected to play through the entire fucking game and get the fucking review out and the fucking cycle of the video game release. You fucking asshole! How could they possibly do that? I don't. Well, I don't know. Maybe they need to get good. Like it's your fucking job. What? Like, what do you mean you can't play through the whole game? Then what the fuck are you doing in this industry? What? From his desk and stepped out of his office. Mute movie reviewers don't just watch part of a movie. Exactly. 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 Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. People tend to like it. Mike. Why is chat a cock to me? I'm a cock? Oh, dude, by the way, the microphone is too close to my to my mouth again. I've probably been peeking the whole night. It's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here. It's a huge difference. So, yeah, you probably... I probably, like, made somebody's cat's ears bleed just now. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. This game was literal garbage. I stopped halfway through it. Stanley picked up the bucket. Stanley took a shit in the bucket. Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Stanley dropped trow and squeezed out a fresh dookie into the bucket. That was the new content, though, or wasn't it? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Does this game have 300 paths with a unique name for each path? Dude, it, it, it's, you're trying to be funny, but like, it, it, it's fucking, it literally is like Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, it honestly is. It really is. Cause dude, they, remember in Shadow the Hedgehog, you're doing the same fucking levels over and over. You're doing the same fucking shit over and over and over again to get slightly different endings. The only thing that that, that separates this game is like the edginess and the fuck the guns. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's- This game isn't edgy. Well, a uh, different flavor of edge, Office right? was where he'd find answers. But I suppose you're right. I suppose it is, yeah. Financial panic meeting. <laughs> I bet there were a lot of those today. Um. All right. 
Stanley the Gunhog. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's a place to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path? Hey, North of Earth. They said, it's so weird to see this go from critically acclaimed to derided. I in an even am not deriding anything. Manner. Well, I never. Who's, der on, who's deriding it? Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Is is it like oh is this is this getting like widely shat upon? Is that what you're Share telling me? your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket. This As game was not vindicated by history. Let him have it. Half of chat is throwing a hissy fit. I wouldn't say it's a hissy fit. It's just, you know. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and Also, I'm being part of that because I'm being hypercritical of it because I'm because I'm like because I'm like a twat like that, you know, I'm just like a douchebag. Here we go. There. Now it's settled. Oh. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship. I got a sticker on my bucket, in the guys. Natural order of things. Herrick says we're all pooping in the pool together a bit here. All right. What I've a beautiful a metaphor. Back here, and I'm going to slab it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Hey, Plushie, you guys have no sense of humor. No wonder we're all at a mic stream. Kit. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. The second sticker is underneath the first sticker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. I heard him get up and walk away. Um, some chats really like to follow the streamer's opinion on games and take them like it's fat. It's annoying when it happens. Did I say fat? I meant to say fact. Now, here's the deal, fact. Um, I personally... I personally... have seen that happen. Um, listen. My opinion should be meaningless to you. I'm a fucking moron, okay? Like, I know that. I, I mean, look, look. If you happen to agree with me, then you agree with me. But, you know, don't, don't, don't just... Parrot 
my opinion, you know, like don't 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 mindlessly agree with me. Probably play the fucking thing for yourself. Although at the same by the same token, right? This game, I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna play it better than me? Like, 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 how, like, like, you watch this stream. And, like, I don't know. Like, 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 what are you gonna, I mean, I guess, sure, I guess you could, you could maybe get some endings that I didn't get, but, like, you got it. You know, you got, you, you, you got, you got the, you got the idea. Right? Like, you get, you get it, right? You know, I mean. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I mean, yeah, buy it. I mean, you know, I... I support small devs, just, you know. I mean, like, I get, again, again, you... You see it, you get it, you know, I... I oh, son of a bitch, you yes! One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. They're going to sell these fucking things? If you watched someone play the Stanley parable, you played the, Sp the Stanley parable. That's what I think I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I think I'm saying. Um, Mike is advocating for NFTs. What the fuck are you talking? What? What? Wait, 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 where did NFTs become involved? Um, I'm not as concerned with agreeing about stuff. More so, wanting to watch you enjoying what you're doing. If I am streaming. If I'm streaming, I'm 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 having a good time. Ninety nine percent of the time, I'm having fun. You know, it's it's, it's just even, whether or not like I really how I really feel he about this game. The possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me Chat. in difficult times such as these. Chat lock. He held the bucket close, Chat. yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the booms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. Now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, <laughs> Fuck off. the bucket. Could it Put the be? balls in he my mouth, Stanley. Room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to <laughs> okay. You remember that the other night the person was saying that the reason that it felt like a scam was because all the new endings were like slightly rehashed versions of all the endings? Because this is an ending that I got in the game. Like I remember getting this ending. It's just that the, that the only difference is now there's a bucket. It's the same ending but with a bucket. So are all, are all the new endings simply the endings that were already in the game with a bucket? Most, most of them. Turn to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, if 
froze dead in his tracks. No, he didn't. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. Dude, bucket chest burster? It was incredibly painful. <laughs> Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Oh, I was hoping we would get to see a little bit of gore. <laughs> it's bucket. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Who? Welcome Mariella to the bonus bucket like room. Any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and Literally security, who? and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. I, I knew he was going to fucking say that. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home. Bucketless behavior. Yeah. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. I guess he yes, kicked the bucket. <laughs> My life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. I want to see that so bad. And she backflipped all the way to work. All right. It's one of the endings. This is a different fucking... Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. How can we find them? Bottom text. Source of levitation. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo for management. How can you tell you spotted the one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? Figlies are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. F figlies, guys? Maybe we are the collectibles. Shut the frick up. <laughs> figlies. Why figlies? Trust the completionist instinct. Can I just say, like, I know that they're playing this up for yucks and shit. And I know that they have a big fucking metaphorical point about the nature of blah, 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 blah that they're trying to fucking make or whatever. But, like, can I just say how, how nice it feels to have something to literally fucking do in this game? Like, yeah, collect the figlies. Like, okay, yeah. There will be a reward for finding them all. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go. I, I want to go home. There will be cleaning of this wall required. Lies. Who are you? Six six six. LOL. Low. Looks like four twenty seven. Haha. -ha. Gotta collect them all. Five there be. Take it from me. Is this some kind of game? Must be a point to this. Places to search. Mission status. A large room. Lots of boxes. Somewhere, bold red and blue. Nearby, a fireplace. A private but smelly place for an important person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Um. Remove Chris's remains from the warehouse floor. Okay. All right, so we can't backtrack. Employee 416. Which means I should pay attention to, like, anything 416. Like, I, I like that there's, again, there's just shit. Coming to a staircase, 
Stanley and the happening. bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Can we agree that the game is not bad? It's just not your taste. Nope, it sucks. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, yes, we can agree that. Yes. I'm. I'm uh, listen, I'm. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What Figlies. About mini stands. Stanley figs. Oh, um, what about Stanley rings? figs? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Toxic streamer abuses helpless innocent chat with mean opinions. No, I, I'm just, you know, I, I exaggerate certain annoyances for comedic effect. It's okay. If you like the game, I just, just, again, if you like the game, you're dumb. Just kidding. I'm good. See, that's a joke. That was a joke. Okay. Because the boss know, knows that what the boss goes if the boss has suffered losses then that's what the boss chose fucking what guys i'm just kidding i love you you can you can like a game that i don't like i i again I, i'm telling you this game definitely my opinion of this game changed tonight because the last time we talked about this i was like not liking it and now I'm not liking it less. So like that's progress. You know what I mean? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing the presence, presence of the bucket. bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light Pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender. Herg says, We need a mod for this game that fills the bucket with shit. Spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't. Yo, wait. I can like kind of do that, you know. Notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Unfortunately, like the bucket like goes up and down a little bit while you walk, so the shit that doesn't look authentic. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Make a VTuber rig just for the, the, the bucket. The shit bucket. Mr. Bucket, you put the shit in my mouth, Mr. Bucket. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep Mike, you missed together, a figly? Not for the bucket. So no, I didn't stop. There's a figly up there. We are assuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Figly missed. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Yo, now the honest Stanley said to the bucket. Did the, the, the fucking addition of this bucket makes this game bucket centric now? Cause like, like, cause now he, the narrator will not shut the fuck up about the bucket. And like all the endings now are just bucket related. Like everything is bucket now. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Maybe it's the number. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, maybe I got to press that three again. Someone in chat said this is a $30 joke. Mike, the true ending is when Stanley fucks the bucket? 
Yo, there's no figly in here. What are you talking about? You saying there's a figly in in here, guys? Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button. I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked at playing into his fucking hands yet again. I'm playing into their fucking hands expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stan. After taking some time to show the bucket around the boss's office, Stanley at last went to the keypad, where he began eagerly pressing the number three again and again. Mike, it disappeared because you're on an ending path now. To get the figly, you gotta restart the run. Penis. Okay. What ego do people think this game has? Jesus Christ, calm down. Am I, yeah, am I like being a dick? Like, is it, is it, is the problem me? Like, am I the problem, guys? Like, am I, am I, like, is this game like really like not pretentious and I'm just an asshole? Like, is that what's going on, guys? I think you'd enjoy the game more if you had a long time with it. I did have a long time with this game. Yeah, yeah, I saw like, I think, I want to say like five of the endings I, I, I saw, which is, was not a lot. It, before, I'm, I'm talking about in the original version of the game, which I played just a couple weeks ago. Again, total coincidence. I had no idea that there was going to be a, like a DLC coming out or whatever. I mean, I, what, 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 the, what the fuck is with the three? It was just... To fuck with me or they're saying you go up and then go back down and then back up perhaps the bucket had missed something perhaps it had not seen how much joy stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly so basically, I think what Chad is trying to do is they want us to get the ending we got before with the um a hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. When you become when you when you go in, into the room with the crowd and you give your speech or whatever, whatever that ending was, when you're like become like a motivational speaker. Chad wants me to do that ending, but with the bucket. Should he demonstrate the number 3 for the bucket again? That, but with the bucket. That's what we're doing. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. By the you way, is that, is that on yet, shit emoji bothering anybody? How much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. The game doesn't have an ego, Liquid Glass? You don't think so? Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciates. The narrator is, a, is just not acknowledging that the I'm no longer pressing three and pressing something and else. He doesn't, he doesn't give a shit. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. Ruined. Restart. No, because this ending has nothing to do with the keypad and everything to do with this elevator. 
Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? When I typed shit PNG into Google, there were some that looked like, that really looked like fe feces. But I felt like that would be too, like, gross to put in, into, uh, into OBS, so I, I decided Stanley to go for the, the cute emoji. straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. No, they didn't. That might actually be against TOS. <laughs> said Stanley. I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference. The sissification room. The Joe Biden sissification center. Where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three That's where you get your vaccines. And why he felt so alive when pressed. And learn how to be a bimbo. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. He'll tell us. Once he advertised and marketed his... The Stanley Parable is a game that can be defined in one word. Press conference. Building Christmas. Excitement around it. Yo, it's like we have the fucking grandma from Rap City Street Kids as president. Developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. Threes. Threes. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. There was no one here. <gasps> Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more <laughs> okay. distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious, that any sense of real respect between them Mike, this game freaks me out, stop. This, this game is conference. disturbing. It is. There would be no more games. No more long conversations about passion. Like, this is a fucking horror game, dude. And pursuit, like, only a silence that consume the space between friends. This is scarier than, Stanley, like, Resident Evil 8, man. Having right. for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. <laughs> this game is so quiet sometimes it'd fuck me up if they did a horror bit. Well, Lars, one of the endings we saw earlier had like, I don't know, fucking like dinosaur noises. Like it was genuinely like terrifying. I don't have the bucket, so let me get rid of that. I mean, dude, th this game could get away with some fucking jump scares and shit. I think. Wait, Stanley thought to himself, am I sure it might change the, the character of it too much, though. Coming in. How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. If I press the other button, would, would the other balloons be all over the place? Yeah, for real. Yeah. Figurine Finders Committee meeting today in the meeting room. What if I told the bucket to go fuck itself and didn't pick it up?
the confusion and the chaos all seem to I, I couldn't resist this stand the I couldn't the bucket I, I I couldn't resist the bucket I couldn't I couldn't resist its charms chest and entered the door on his left I couldn't I, I couldn't let it I just couldn't I couldn't resist it I had to bucket addict Mike, you pick up that bucket right now. That's bu that bucket's worth thirty dollars. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say that's a lovely purse. Was that supposed to rhyme? Extreme bathrooms. Do like bathrooms where like the toilet is like at a distance? You know, like, like it's in built into the wall. You have to bend over and like shit at range to get the, the, the turds into the toilet. That would be fucking epic. That's a panda with a gun to its fucking head. It says business strategy. No, it says business strategy. Uh, Sigma as fuck, somebody said. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley Guys, what was the fucking combination again? What was it two, five, two, the two, five, five, eight, four, five, I, I want to say? In his two, darkest eight. of hours. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. I remembered. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Yo. Chat. Okay, it's I'm about to get pissed. The name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlarines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? Figlies. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. I like Figlies. I'm sure it will come to me. It's Figlies. Alright, now this time we're not gonna fucking ride the elevator up and down five times, okay? We're gonna go into the mind control center, okay? Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Or escape. Do the escape route, it's good, okay. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. Fuck yeah! The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. The, the, they had the fucking... Think about this. The voice actor? Come back fucking ten years later? To re-record the same lines of dialogue that he recorded ten years ago? Except now the word Bucket is in them. Like, can you just repeat everything that you did 10 years ago, but insert the word bucket into the sentences, basically? Okay. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inch closer to their demise, Stanley... Yeah, he's just inserting end the bucket. ...reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort right, had turned out to be. I guess. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what... Yeah, this is the big the big joke. The big joke is that, you know, there's a bucket now. Like, that's that's the ad, the add-on content. A there's a bucket. It's a the exact same thing, death. but there's a bucket now. This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. 
as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, and fig the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket. But I was just holding it. Like, I was just holding the fucking thing. What, what, do you, what do you mean? Where did it go? Welcome. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within. A cavern is void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? Should Mike shave his eyebrows? And 70% of you said yes. Okay, what does that mean? You want me to shave them off? Completely? It was a sham vote because there was a, there was it was only two yeses. Guys, I'm not doing that. What the fuck? We didn't even talk you about this first. see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Yep. Um, bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. That's the fucking Leonardo da Vinci drawing. Uh, such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. There's someone said that this ending was better without the bucket. This is the one where, yeah, it's just a museum exhibit, except that if you do the OG, it's not bucket related, obviously. 25 buckets. A photograph for 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. Dude, I'm getting, like, control vibes from this game right now. Like, remember the bit where you go um, into that one wing of, like the scp foundation whatever the fuck it was and there was like the, the self multiplying like cuckoo clocks and there was just piles and piles of clocks this looks like a lot more than 25 buckets guys but um what do i know just an idiot wrong inferno bucket a replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died. And yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains. No one can control a bucket. Fucking cool. Okay. Like, I want there to be more things. In, like, 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 give me a fucking velociraptor the stress bucket and analogy worrying negative forecasting negative thinking lack of reassurance vulnerability size and strength of the bucket coping strategies holes rest and relaxation doing something you enjoy rest and relaxation stress equals the level of water in the bucket presented without commentary what a fucking cop out the copium bucket. Yeah, give him a gun. Give Stanley a gun, bro.
Yo. I thought that was somebody shitting in the bucket art. Yeah, it's, chat's like, are those turds? I thought the same thing. <laughs> Cave drawing. While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. Right. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Like, what's going on over It's so tantalizing, right? Like, what's going on over there? It could be anything. Probably it'll be, like, absolutely nothing or something really disappointing and stupid, pointless. But I still, you know, it's it's the it's the, 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 the wanting something that you can't have, right? And the, the, the fact that there's, st there's still a possibility that there might be something cool over there, right? The hanging bucket symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. Um. Yeah? But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this Mike, you could have checked wrong. it out if you didn't waste the jumps. That's not how that worked. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and... Okay. I can restart the game. I think that's a different ending, isn't it, if I restart the game? Kill the bucket? No, it changes nothing. Really? Let him die. If only we let Stanley die together, the bucket shall take his place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision for... Fuck yeah. It changes nothing. The ending will be that you reset. It's, tech it's technically not one of the endings. So there you go, there's one ending. Stanley gets crushed. Hey, you know what they say, chat? It's 4 p.m. somewhere. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Oh, God damn it. Red through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. You getting it now, chat? You get you getting it now? You getting it now? You get it now? Do you get it? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. The non-bucket endings are usually better. Alright, no more bucket after this, okay? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. We're going in that mind control room this time. Into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned. I think it was uh, oh, fuck. Two, eight, four, five. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an em But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding? Yeah, someone in chat said the yes. the word bucket this has lost all meaning. It, explanation. Certainly, certainly it has. Maybe if we go in the mind control area, there's going to be another another figly. We still got, I think, two figlies that are uh, outstanding. Right, chat? Two outstanding figlies. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 
Maybe they're on the right path. We're gonna go on the right path too. I feel like I'm being forced to care about this bucket. You are. The lights rose. Mike, get the bucket sex ending by picking up the phone with the bucket. On an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. This game is so far up its own ass. Guys, don't 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 fight about the Stanley parable. It's 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 okay. Alright, it's just, it's it's alright. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. If you want the bucket sex ending, I think you have to purchase the bucket sex DLC. It's like the bunger sex DLC, but with less burgers. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things? It's it funny because to... buckets what are kinds funny. Of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? Yeah, it's fucking ten years from now. You have to you have to buy the These Stanley Parable bucket sex DLC. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except... Someone in chat said, almost as funny as the word come. Let's not go that far. The bucket. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Yeah, <laughs> imagine. Somebody not thinking the word come is funny somebody somebody believing somebody unironically believing that the word come isn't funny now that's hilarious but here was the proof the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Sassy. Sussy. Sussy and sassy. Um, all right, is this like some kind of cerebro type thing? Bubba Fair is in chat. He says he wants me to press the on button. Okay. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Yo, somebody's gonna get their chip pinched? Silly, silly birds. Silly birds. Silly. Throttle them? Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. Birds aren't it real? It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. I love the way they're screaming Stanley at each other. Stanley and the bucket like... never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives <laughs> okay. here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. <laughs> okay.
and Stanley was happy. Oh, I see you just starve to death in here. Like, you just starve to death. <laughs> oh, okay. That's an ending. That was a fucking ending. That was a ending. Okay. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. All right, non-bucket ending. Well, you know what? Nah, fuck Stanley bucket. picked up the bucket and smiled. Jump out He'd the window with the bucket. Again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Okay, all right, so earlier tonight, somebody said that you can actually jump out a window. Well, what, what window is that? That's real? Like, which, what, which window? Because glitch up the... Di oh, you got to glitch up the... Onto the desk? Is that what you're saying, guys? Literally the one that you were at. It requires platforming. You have to glitch up the chair at 434. 4, 3. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. You have to. You have to glitch it. The fucking game just lets yes. you do this. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger, of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. This is, this is the cum space? Opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not no. since the evil wizard Gambharata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back Oh, the then, game finally has a plot. I did the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold. We're not gonna get to its see fangs that. glistening like. Yeah. That'd just be that'd just be way too fucking cool you know, for this game. Too cool for this game. My God, Stanley! Wait, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon the Yo, he stabbed power. the bucket Otherwise, to death. <laughs> we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket nor the dark magic cast away inside gonna, of it. We're going to use the bucket again. So that was an ending <laughs> again. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Someone in chat was like, Mike, what is your opinions on this game now that you've actually like played it? I, I mean like the meeting room. Perhaps he had sent the good old bucket. Just Stanley in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Listen, I got some good laughs out of it. But I don't I don't I don't think the bucket, I'm gonna ever chest, like play it again after tonight, you know. Left. Mike, do the family ending with the bucket? The, is the family ending is the one where you go to that phone and you answer it, right? Into a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. 
I think the game has made its point. Yeah. I don't hate this game. All right? I, I don't. I don't. Don't take that away from me. Stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of... But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? There's no reason to play it after you've experienced all the endings. I mean, like... The replay value of this game, of course, is exactly 42 times, because that's how many endings there are, right? Well, now there's 42. Before the um, this DLC with this, this bucket, there was, uh, I think there was like Stanley half that, maybe like 20 endings, right? The large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hey, table. Movie tickets are fifteen dollars for one to two hours of content. Screens. What horrible secret did this? All right. I mean, Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Look, at, okay. Here's my final fucking say on the Stanley Parable. All right. This is definitely one of the games of all time. Everyone in the office was being videotaped. You know what I mean? Like guinea. Of all the games that ever existed, this certainly was one of them. I love that meme. I, I hated it at first, but I really came around to it. Data Anonymous Block with two months. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, What the fuck is it? What are you saying? This time it's come on you. And all the time mothers are gay, awful, going to Lidl to fuck women. People, somebody once told me, him come over the come, come, yum, see me soon. All right, man. This is, what, what, what is that? Did you see, you guys seeing that? Pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. Mike, is Stanley Parable gently, better than Elden Ring? It that everything would be fine. No. I don't know. I didn't play, listen, I didn't play Elden Ring. Okay, I can't, I can't say. Was the bucket under the mind control facility? It, it probably, like, ironically, and the true irony of it is, I bet you Elden Influence Ring would piss well. me off Had the bucket been told way the more than this game. <laughs> what kinds of things does a bucket right? want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions... And this game pissed me off a lot, right? No! He screamed but Mike, the, the Stanley Parable is accepted. every game. His own life in someone else's right. control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could... Stanley Parable no walked so Elden Ring could run. For the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. We're just going to press the other and button the at this point, right? the reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert... At least the Stanley Parable the bucket, has a literal pathway arrow thing. Was Elden Ring bucket? doesn't. I got lost trying to find the castle, so I stopped playing. Oh man. Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy. If I'm going to get lost in Elden Ring a lot, then that is not a non starter machine. for me. Freedom was now mere Yanni Scro, away. thank you for three months, Excitedly, buddy. The two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live. Space Circus, hey, but Mike, I told my roommate that you said you hate, hated this game because it insists upon itself. And he told me to shut up. Because that's just a Family Guy reference about the Godfather. Okay. He's right. Shut up. Once they stepped through this massive door, the bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned. But it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? 
Was Stanley in the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room. If you don't have the bucket and you do this, the door keeps opening and you go out there and it's an ending. Lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Oh my god, this fucking bucket. Not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave. They went place. really hard not on this bucket shit, huh? Bucket wow. Arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Mike, now you have Stanley to fight Asriel. He would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. This is fucking bucket schlock. This is schlock. Schlock! Schlock, I tell you! Schlock! The price tag of the game is what funded all the bucket dialogue. There's another uh, phone call here, huh? Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. This isn't my Looking desk. Oh, there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you today. Feeble, you know, it's a female. <laughs> Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Tell yeah, him I'm going to go to the phone. I want to see if... Because the... chat's calling that the bucket sex ending, which means Stanley has sex with the bucket, but I, I feel like that that's not what happens. To be correct. Was this no... Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Now the bucket is controlling Good, me? All right. said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the The room top. with the phone There's is up there, up there, right? I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. My, has Mike seen the lost ending? I don't know what that means. But Look Stanley left. But chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the oh. bucket had spoken to oh. him. And he oh. unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Oh. What's what's going on over there? What's the, what's going on? What's going on over there? You see that? That, that, that business over there? In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stand There's a figly over there. Blindly. There's a figly. Now we're gaming, guys. We're finally fucking gaming tonight. Mike, you you cannot get that figly because you ran out of jumps. You can only jump in the jump circle. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone. And it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Maybe it is bucket sex. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press T to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. He's been it fucking this bucket, too. He and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Bro, the bro is having sex with this bucket. Like, he's shamelessly fuck pounding off in this bucket. 
Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. My brother in Christ, you were the one who wouldn't shut the fuck up about this bu bucket for like the last two hours. What are you talking about? You know what? Let him fuck the bucket, man. Whatever makes him happy, right? Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? You have a domestic life with this bucket. Listen <laughs> to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do any... Hey, Felix, I've been gone for hours. You still playing this shit? Yeah. Yeah. This is the best bucket stream I've ever seen. Well, I said I wanted to give the game a fucking, like, like, like an actual chance, right? Um. Is Stanley from Nantucket? There Thing once else. was a man from Nantucket. Who used to have sex with a bucket. He would blow loads within. Let it dry on the tin. And then. Um, at the end of the day. He would suck it. He said with a grim as he wiped on its rim. <laughs> yeah. Pog bot pogged at the at the limerick. <laughs> Has the game become enjoyable? Nope. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, it's yeah. It's 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 it's, it's something. Hey, Evil Gamer. I am so proud of this chat because nobody has mentioned Homestuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't let Rev play this. Oh, oh, God. There once was a man from Nantucket who used to have sex with a bucket. He put Dookie in it and said, ooh, that's my shit, and wrote his whole name on the pit. No, Nifty, the 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 last like stanza has to rhyme with the the second one. All right, so it has to rhyme with bucket. There once was a man from Nantucket who used to have sex with a bucket. Fuck, where'd it go? He put Dookie in. He put Dookie in it. He said, "That's my shit." Something, something, bucket. You understand? <laughs> Bed. <laughs> My, this is the first streamer to ever hate the Stan, the Stanley Parable. I do not, I am not, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Don't listen to the loud man. Press N for us to go back home. You see? He's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon Buckets. a time, it was me he took orders from. Me, he trusted and He's jealous to. of the bucket, now, the narrator. All he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Press M to ignore anyone in your life except for me. <laughs> okay. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. You created this problem! You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press O to go back home. I'm gonna press other buttons to see what happens. Nothing, go fuck yourself. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. 
Let's watch a movie together, Bucket. Press H to relive the same day with me. Over and over. <laughs> oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. What? This is like fucking mental illness, dude. Like, what the fuck is this now? This this is this is like this is upsetting me now. Like, what the to fuck? Point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket. It's like profiles in insanity, right? It handles mental illness with all the grace and poise and sensitivity of a fucking Wattpad Sonic fanfic. Joey's here. What are you playing? <laughs> oh, oh, don't. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. The bucket. You don't want. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Oh, now the narrator wants to have sex with it. Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? Yeah, I now don't he's... understand. Perhaps, perhaps he's into if it I now. The bucket. This would be less confusing. Yes. The oh bucket. yeah. Tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Chat called this game the Stanley Terrible. The Stanley Terrible. You know what the like, like the I think the worst concept of this fucking a bucket business is because well you, this is romantic the candles are lit I'm gonna go in that room and actually have sex with that bucket I know that that's where this is going but like dude I mean you want to talk about a hot dog in a hallway. There's only one hole, and it's definitely too big for your penis. Well, not my penis, but your penis, chat. Definitely. Not for me, not for you. For definitely for, for you, yeah. No, Mike, you don't understand. The bucket tops. Okay, well, well, well then, well, 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 how, bro? How, like, how, how? Y you sit on it? Like, all right, hold on a minute. There once, okay, this one's from Wistbones. There once was a man from Nantucket who used to have sex with a bucket. He'd beat off like a drum and fill it with cum, then stick it up his ass like a Muppet. <laughs> You're supposed to be wholesome. You can't say that. You can't say that. What do you mean? What do you mean that? Joel's asking about Monster Rancher? Yo. All right. So so Joel, he's saying, how do you get your sperm man to hit? He said his sperm man only hits 50% of the... He's talking about Newt, Newt. His fucking Wapowski, Newt. Now... Now, I, I know for a fact because I witnessed this. Because I came to your stream. I came to your stream. And there was about... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it was close to 4,000 people screaming at you in unison. Beg, begging you. Begging you. Begging you. Begging you to not let the monster auto fight. And the, the, the chances that you don't know... That that's what you're supposed to do are fucking negative. You definitely knew you definitely know that the strategy is to is to fucking manually combat and give the monster commands. You know you know this, but this is like a shit posting attempt and a gaslighting attempt. You were trying to gaslight everyone involved in, in like everybody who's who's watched those streams right now. Including me because I myself typed at Varg Skeletor in all ca and then I spammed this like five times. Please give the monster commands. Can someone translate what the guy in the video is saying to me? He seems angry and small. I got this is as as predicted. Squid Pro Crow. I always fucking mispronounced that. Thank you for eight months, bud.
there's an IRL Monster Rancher 2 World Tournament. Are you interested in signing up? No, man. I was, wasn't good at that game at all. What are you talking about? Really? Should I? Maybe... Maybe as a meme, we'll like, you know, we'll put little fella in the game. I have save files where little fella's not dead. I could load one of them up and put little fella in the tournament. He wants to know how you get higher rank monsters. Thank you for helping me procrastinate putting my dick in this bucket. Um, you have to, uh, you have to unlock them. Like there's, there's little, um... There's little quests and shit that you have to do. There's like little like unlock methods. I I think one of them like I did by accident. You know what? You got to figure out like what monster you want. Honestly, honestly, figure out what kind of monster you want, and then go look up a guide to tell you how to unlock it. Because then you once once you have the monster unlocked, you can uh. You can you you can summon one with the CD or with the, the song, you know. Yo, what was that one insane unlock in that game? Where like you have to for that that caterpillar monster. Remember that one? What was what was the deal with that? Where you have to do something batshit fucking crazy that involves RNG and the odds that you're actually gonna unlock the monster are, are like fucking CBT. There's one really good monster that the unlock method is is insane. No, it wasn't the the. I eventually unlocked the alien and the mermaid. The mermaid is a little a little bit annoying, but the mermaid is doable. Um, and the I think the alien it, it was you have to beat don't you have to beat the game for the alien. Or the alien was an RNG thing where like it just comes to the it comes to the farm and you just have to be like playing the game, I think. Little fella is not viable or over the tournament stat cap. Little fella was dog shit. I wouldn't the I would only put little fella in that tournament as a meme. Joel said what? What's going on? He didn't know. He didn't know what. He's scared of aliens. Is he? What is this? He he he's like gaslighting me or something. He's doing the thing again. Remember remember that time he came in here and he was like, Mike, can you please explain how to fucking summon? Like how, like what do you like? How does this game work? Why are you using songs? And then I explained it to him for like ten minutes, and then he was like. Just kidding. I already knew all that. I just wanted to, I, I don't know, like make you talk or something. Like what, what, what was that? He was like, no, I just wanted to fuck with you. Did you tell him about the Japan dream? No, I did. Yeah, I, I told him. Mike, get in that room and fuck that bucket. It's real. <laughs> it's real. Well, hey. Stanley, give Doesn't me matter, the bucket. had sex. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Doesn't matter, had sex. I lost my V-card. Finally. Go back to work, Stanley. Ratio plus I fucked the bucket. Yo, bro, I got my dick wet because I dipped it in a bucket full of water. It was kind of like sex. I mean, who's counting? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do the other phone ending with the bucket. I'm so sick of this fucking thing at this point. Bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Dignified bucket. This we what's what's this hallway? Oh, that's, no, that's, that's not tightly to his chest and entered the door. Right door. 
to the meeting room. You go. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge again, was back through the, the employee and lounge. Lounged. Had the bucket turned okay. out to be correct? Was Don't forget the figly. I was. I remembered the figly. I remembered the figly. I did. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. I know about the figly. I know about the figly. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. No, don't go to the yes. meeting room. Good. No, so, don't I forgot about the figly. Fuck. The way to the top. Fuck. There's something up there. Fuck. I, I forgot about the figly. Fuck. Stanley did not Fuck. Why on Fuck. Him, but Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply. Fuck. Touching. Fuck. Yes, fuck. Fuck that pocket, mate. Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite bit right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck that pocket, mate. Yeah, get in there All nice and deep. Yeah, get in there. Right, Stanley fuck that pocket. Yeah. Right. Knob that boggling. Yeah. This is my favorite bit. Yeah. That stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This yeah, fuck the bucket, yeah! But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him... I'm fucking slowly losing my, gri my grip on sanity because of this game. This and game has was, fucking legitimately broke me. Correct. Was this... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. It's figly time, baby. Wow, there's actual platforming. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the figler and marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. I'm really starting to resent this narrator. Alright, so you, there's a... A vent? What the fuck is the vent? Oh. Oh, well, hold on. I'll hang out. Where the fuck am I? This is new. Oh, <laughs> sussy. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is day number 295. Date number. I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Is this Stanley recording this? Sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world bucket addiction. so differently when this bucket is in my arms. You like the bucket SCP? Why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amount the fuck of was that money sound? people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Camarada. 
the wizard. Evil gamer, thank you for two months, bub. The fuck? This meme is a little forced. I don't know anything about forced memes. Anyway, Queek Queg. Anyway, that's my shit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we heard this already. Leave it behind to get the last one. Don't pick up the bucket to get the final figly. Bucket. Yeah, I said bucket for some reason. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, it's the red blue door ending. I don't even know. I don't know that. I don't think I've seen that one at all. What would you say you have learned from this game? Don't play this game. Right? And then catwalk. Oh, this is that right? Okay. Correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. Yeah, the pause menu well, is the sequel. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand. Hey, Joel, he says, is the game not good? I heard it was. Oh, no, play it. And majestic. Perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. No, man, no, you're gonna have so much fun. Yo, this is my revenge for Battletoads right now. It all now. made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. Wait, why am I bleeding? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. We haven't gone in there at all tonight. We you're just supposed to go in there. We, we Stanley was so there. bad at following. There's like endings in there. Incredible, he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. This game is too cerebral for Mike, but Joel should be able to wrap his gamer brain around it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I realize that investing in your Yeah, maybe he he'll like this game more than me because he's got such a big brain. He's got a, but the fact is that the story such a, bi a bigger brain than I do, so maybe he'll be. This time. He'll be fine. You know? Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Uh, I, I remember now, this shit now, yeah, yeah. This is important. Figly! And there it is. The last sticky... Why can't you get this if you have the bucket? Because I could have jumped down here with the bucket. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're because done the bucket here, doesn't want you to have it? And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I mean, I feel... Yeah, I feel nothing. Um... This is a no bucket zone. There's a sign that says no buckets allowed. Get the fuck out of here. Where? You're a liar. The figly looks like a big mouth character. You're fucking right. Why'd you tell me that? Um, all right. Do not take the red door. Tell me what the fuck to do. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I remember I this, just, yeah. I wanted to stop. I would 
We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I oh, this is the fucked up suicide ending. Here, let me show you. All right, well, don't look at it. Okay. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Wait, no, it isn't. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right... I, I would say it's not... Here, right in this moment... I don't, I don't think it's, like, particularly upsetting, but, but you know, they, they... Again, they put an option in there for you to skip the ending but if... With this place... You know, you would standing, find it upsetting. I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, you just walk you walk off of a fucking like a like like a catwalk and he's like, "No, stop. What are you doing? You're not allowed to do that." Bubska bulba, hey, they said people hype this up way too much. If you say things like that, People will be very unhappy with you. All right. I learned my lesson. All right. Don't attack. Do not attack the Stanley Parable. All right. Because it has some fierce defenders. Like that'll be like, like how many chat wars have we had tonight? Like there's been several. Every time somebody says something like that, somebody else will be like, oh yeah, well, I, well, well, no, no, you, 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 you shut up. If we went through it like six times tonight. Like, please don't do it again. I got to not go for number seven. I haven't heard a single person hype this game. People make shit up. I have had many people hype this game to me. But again, I don't want it. No, we're not doing that again. Shh. Sh Name them now. I don't have to fucking tell you shit. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go to the top of the staircase, and then I'm going to walk off there, and I'm going to plummet to my death. Um, the whole time he's gonna be like begging me not to do it. So if that sounds upsetting to you, just just like mute this What's for a minute. This? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley. No. Oh, thank God. Again, because you lived. No. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? I guess you have HP. Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. Go back in the door. Or if you die, we'll both go back. Really? Why you think are you something... doing this? You think something different had happened? Pog, Pog, bot, Pog, that this. Well, this looks the same. There. Well, see, this is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. So if you can't come moving, up in here with the bucket at have all. To stop moving. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. You know, again, there was supposed to be a. Pr if I saw the tweet correctly, there was a prompt that would enable you to just to just skip you this just if you wanted to. Believe me. What can I say to convince you? I think you're supposed to not move in there. The prompt is enabled in the settings. Let me see. We got one-handed walking. We're like, you know. In other words, you could use the mouse, only the mouse to play the entire game. 
Um, show content warnings, probably that one. Enables content warnings and option to skip sections of the game that deal with suicide, trauma, and mental health issues. Well, where's my option? Mike, it skips half the game. You're past the point where it would activate? Oh. Alright, well, can I just, like, end this? Like, it's just... Stand still there. In here? I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm just gonna reset. I'll just do this. Why do I think nothing happens if you stand here? Mike, stand there for four hours. Mike, do the content warnings actually show up? Apparently they do, yeah. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... What? It's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling us... Mike, what's with the LOL in the title? It's because on Monday night I spent about an hour and a half shitting on this game story so i nobody expected me to, sh to stream it but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone i would love nothing well i guess i don't have a fucking choice things. just one more time it became a meme like how hard i was shitting on this game and then chat was like getting like like pissy about it so of course i doubled down on it you know Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Uh huh. All right, so there's a new wing of the mind palace here. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right, man. Someone just said, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. And here was a second that, that's the, the exact mood that you get. Like, all oh, for fuck's sake speaks volumes, I'll be honest, right? Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. This pisses me off so much. Right here. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? The bathroom. It was, it was the bathroom, I remember. Yeah, I do. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. 
Hey Max, I think this game may have hit harder in 2013 when conversations about meta narrative and game design were less common. Well, apparently this is the game that 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 started all of that basically, right? Let's see. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Can okay, obviously this didn't happen. But I like how pink it is. And there's an apple statue? Finny, no! Squid games? Why are you saying squid games, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh, my God. That is how it went down, yeah. That is actually how it went down. It went down just like that. The best boy. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it take was your eight fucking minutes. <laughs> I wouldn't have. God damn it! Take your fucking plus two game. Spent on anything else. I ain't going that way. This is some fucking David Lynch shit right here, man. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. I will not miss this narrator. I think they're the same, looks like. Uh, Radio Rosewater, thank you for the gift sub. You are then, in the present. There was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Wow. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, S no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Never Stop mind. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. What if I don't want to do that, man? Uh, Blaze the taco made margaritas. Does anybody want one? I really want a margarita. By the way... Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. If you're, um... Okay, yes. The room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial... Oh, he's, he's members, fucking serious. This one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep oh. going. I want more. Oh, he's serious. Yeah, he's not kidding. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, uh, okay. T take it fucking easy. Now it's minus two. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Good. 
These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. And then he's gonna just make me do it again. This is like sadistic now. It's like, oh my god, we get the point. We get it. We get this it. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Stay Keep near going. the apple. Was there something going on with the apple? This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? You missed the little rat fella in a box? Right, okay. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. It insists upon itself. To put it frankly. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who to put it mildly. A classic memory, this one. Yep. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. <sighs> Guys, thank you for coming to the stream tonight. Thank yes, you for watching. I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... Thank you for the subs and the bits and the resubs and, and the gift subs, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate it, everybody. And um, if you're new to the channel, you can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on... Um, other stuff. Uh, there's links in the chat. There you go. Um, to everything. Thanks for putting that in there, uh, Herrick. And we're gonna look at the Buru. If you, uh, yeah, if you if you got art for that Buru, let me uh, let me put put it up on there. I'm gonna look at that in 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 a little bit because I just I just I, I just don't think I can play this anymore. Um the last one you need to do is go to the phone room and then you do a thing to the phone but don't pick it up. You want me to take the bucket to the phone room and you want me to unplug the phone. There's still more ending there's a lot there is a lot of shit we didn't say yeah. But I mean do you wanna? <laughs> you wanna? Do you wanna see it? I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. Thank you, great one. But uh, I suppose you. it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. I mean, this feels like an, like an ending ending, don't you think? Stanley. 
Thank you, radio. Appreciate it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man. Restart the game now. Is this better than spending several hours inside Bowser's smelly, mushy, gurgly insides? No. And a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he will no. become both of those things. Is anything... Right. I mean, once you go there... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct... There's no going room, back, right? But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no... Once you go there, there's no going back from wrong. that. Stanley took the door... There's no coming back from that. That's the, that's the peak of your existence at that point. Now, Everything you do is a, is, is a hollow fucking imitation. Everything you do is a pale attempt to try to get back to the glory of being inside Bowser. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go th good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the... Hey, Griffin Husky, you want more GeoGuessr this week? Probably, um... Probably not. Bucket. Go into I don't, this I don't dark think, room I don't, over I don't here. think so. Not that, maybe Stanley next week. Once again, obeyed blindly. Well, the week's kind of like almost over, huh? So, I mean. Alright, so you want me to do this? Now pick up the phone. Sit. Whoa! Hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? I'm... Oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Mm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. One is comedic oh, timing. Oh, maybe this will be really educational for, for all of us. Timing. How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle why is from it, your body. Why is it the fucking These Simpsons? These are the optimal yeah, conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. It's like Mr. Next, Skinner. Provide and, and a brief shit. synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and Principal then Skinner, yeah. spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. 
Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapid they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter oh. and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause. Just I want to play that game. Can I play that game? And their children after them. Godspeed and may I want I want I want to play that supreme. game. Let me play that game. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the Earth fundamentals of force. proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again, so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Okay. Oh shit, I gotta go all- really? I can feel it. This time, I'm- Fluffy Rocket, really thank you for 22 months. And, uh, stitches, Poop Spoon, boy, thank you for 33 months. He said, insert on funny sub message. You're done with the funny? How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what y'all call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Yeah, he's hyping it a little bit too much. Kind of reminds me of how, how this whole game has been overhyped. Oh, wait. No, can't say that. Make somebody upset. Here we go. There's you that meta gaming that the game that the game the is famous for. Into a set of two open doors. Wrong think. Wrong think. They entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. Good. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because Good, that's what I want. You watch a simple video and take a hint. Yeah, I, I want that. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are yes. You yes, I am. Here we go. You ready? You fucking, you son when of a Stanley bitch. Came to a you of son of a doors, bitch. Entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back. <laughs> Fuck you. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came oh, to a set of two open doors. Fucking God, it's maddening. The door on the left. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I'd made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling... It's self-aware that it isn't funny. MF Puma said, Mike, can you please go back to Lost Ark? Hey, Lizarin. I'm back. How has Mike's opinion evolved on this game? There were some peaks and valleys. Well, I think... 
I had the um, moments I enjoyed and then moments I, I didn't I didn't enjoy. Yes, surely that will help me improve my Um Stanley, you love the bucket so much it's like you um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Oh yes. bucket puns. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly <laughs> Mike you are with jokes. You are. No, still not. It, is it the delivery? Pale. With they shame. went hard with on shame. this bucket shit, huh? Pale. Wow. What's another word to describe a bucket. Stanley, this bucket is so metal. I think I saw it playing guitar. No. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I just. I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional I'm looking videos. at the Buru. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we do have a number of uh, number of things on the Buru here. Um... Yeah, we got some art. Just hold on a second. Let me get some music going. Um, uh, Mike, reboot your game five times. I think uh, I think I'm good. I I I, th I think that I think that's okay. I'm okay. Thanks. Um. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Not a joke. I I'm sure it's real. I am sure it, I'm sure it's real. Mike, one more ending, please. Ivan with 64 months. Thank you, ma'am. Mike, if you do that, you will get the epilogue. I have to fucking reboot the game. Okay, so I can't. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. All right, so that. was the first time I opened and closed the game. What are you talking about? No, 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 I did this already. What, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you mean enter? What, what the fuck is this? Do it. Miss Hanyo with nine months, thank you so much. Can I say something? Thank you for setting the clock both times you booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock. I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Pick whatever time you want, even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. Alright, I'll let you get back to the video game now. So that was the second time I launched and exited the game. So now this is the this is the third time. Mike, I think the next achievement you go for should be the one where you don't play it for ten years. I'm gonna put four o'clock. Why chat? 4 p.m. Why 4 p.m. chat?
your favorite time of day? Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Now I'm curious how accurate 4 p.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 4 p.m.? It's not. Regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Let me whip up a couple of new ones. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Mike, say come in a Joel accent. Come, dad! You think they'll have a cock size slider? Adjust the slider till the computer is barely visible. Yeah, we we know this don't do shit. Adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. No. No, you know this is this is this is too friendly. I I I think I want them more like 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 here maybe. Please adjust the slider until five becomes nine. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh look at oh. adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. I am going to kill this game. Which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? Akiaboinkel or Scrumtush? Scrumtush. I think we all know it's Scrumtush. Obviously. Easy choice. Please don't adjust the slider. Do you know what time it is right now? Yeah. Is it the time that it is right now? The... Yes! What is time anyway? What are you, fucking Chicago? Is there anything about yourself you haven't told me? Yes. Help. No. No. That is fucking... How many times now? Four. I think that's four. So this is the fifth one, right? No one knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. You don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. If I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. Get fucked, chat. You like being alone, don't you? You freak. That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. 
There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little more time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Okay, so this is new, right? Well, you can't see that. As you can see, it now says epilogue here. I guess I'll turn the fucking music off. And... Many, many years later. Well, I remember this shit. This is like one of the first endings we saw tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Remember when Paul Atreides fucked a bucket? Yo, Outer Wilds. Let's roast a mushroom. A, a mushroom. A marshmallow? <laughs> Mike, I wish this was Outer Wilds. <laughs> If only this was Outer Wilds, right? Is that the Mick motherfucking memory palace? It is. Cookie Nines Block. Review. The Stanley Parable 2. I, uh, like so many, enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game uh, teemed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Uh, rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable the sequel veers off into a territory nobody asked for an infinitely deep hole who cares where are the new endings what about enjoyable bits from the stanley parable one like the adventure line instead we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines even this diversion feels incomplete collecting all the figurines gives you nothing i must say though i found the bucket to be quite comforting a welcome reprieve from the archives are from 2027. Oh God, are they doing some kind of weird ARG? Cookies Corner. We need to talk about sequels. Pet Pals Press. This cat dog friendship will last forever.
You're welcome. Oh, hold on. Name buttons. Real web. Stanley Parable developers, no more spin-offs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise. But a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions. As outlined in a press release they published today. Mike, if you set the slider all the way where there were three hearts, the article would have said the first cat-dog hybrid was born. I don't fucking believe you. It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about. And yet, turns out this could not have been farther from the truth. It's, it's true. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word, sorry, appears more than 25 times in the press release. Alright, well, you apologize harder, please. Thought it was a little secret in there. Hit the buttons? They don't work. Jim. <laughs> I do! Stanley. Jim. <gasps> Jim. Stanley. 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 There's a Stanley. Jim. 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 There's only one Stanley. If one says Mike, I'll fucking piss. I'll piss right now. Oh my fucking god, yes! Oh my god, it's so meta! I'm gonna come! Mine. Soy fucking pug. Hello again. It's nice to see you. It's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games till the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really dumb subtitle for the game, something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. The Stanley Parable 3. Um, Alright, I get to choose two. Alright, pocket full of... Ah, oh, they're, they're all pretty bad. Um... I like octopus, um, but pocket full of human condition is stupider, right? Like this is dumber, so I'm I'm gonna go with this because of how dumb it is. Okay, my this is it, the title of an Evangelion episode. 
Human condition, semen in parentheses. We'll know it means semen, Joaco. Stanley Parable 3, pocket full of human condition. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content, recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. Looking at you, Call of Duty and fucking NBA and Madden games. Called the fuck out. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Let's do it. Every A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. The achievement machine is all fixed. I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. So I could go there and use it and it'll work right now. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It, is, it can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? There's only one last thing we need to do. Enter the current time. Nope. Yep, that's serious. What the fuck is this? <laughs> a car! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna launch the game again. Hold on. It should be called Stanley Parable 4 at something stupid. Oh, you have to pick a new one. Stanley Parable 4. The Revenge of the Thank You. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Alright, so that, that that's just gonna keep happening, huh? Uh, all right. Utter nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure is, Steph. <laughs> Remember to get your free Chivo. I might not need that, that Chivo. Stanley Parable 5. Attack on cheese. Okay. That's enough of this. Uh, well, let's listen to this fun music while we look at the art that you guys made tonight. I'm gonna start with this one from Rollapoid. You're gonna see a very cute squan dog for Chaproni May, day four. He is cute and such a friend. He is so fucking friend shaped. Roll the point. I love him. Thank you. Uh, beautiful J Chan from Souls Bonfire. Love her. Wow. Thanks a lot. Looks traditional uh, as well. Thank you so much. Um, really cute. Uh, as is this from Gigi. It's a little um, bon uh, bung Bungle Puss and Squan Dog plushies. And they're just, they're cute as all fucking hell. Thank you so much, Gigi. Um, really cool art tonight, guys. Thank you. <laughs> this one's from somebody named Fish Cuts. Uh, it's a really fucking... A kind of twisted looking mask boy. Uh, you can see he's got, again, that look of mischief. 
and he's got pants that say come which just fucking rules uh because you know of course he does it's like the you know the, the sweatpants that say juicy on the back but it says come on the front what a fucking concept fish cuts art kicks ass thank you so much Uh, here's what some something, something else from Fish Cuts, referencing that uh, Pakistani Happy Meal commercial. Rogue and Amy Dennis. You got Rogue the Rat. Dennis is all that they won't take away from me, Amy. Let's have a match. Rouge, is that you? I'm scared. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh, uh, what an awesome moment to immortalize. Fish, thank you so much. Mike, when will you play The Binding of Isaac? I don't know. I think tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to write our fanfic. I might not. I mean, guys, I might not feel like doing that tomorrow, to be honest with you, if that's okay. Even though I said we were going to do it, I might be a liar and, and then we don't do it. I might be a lying scumbag and then not, yeah, not do it. I don't know. Or um, or we might, or we might do it. I I don't know. I don't know. We might, we might do it. We might do it. Let me just kind of like see how I feel tomorrow, guys. I I haven't been feeling great lately, guys. I I kind of having a hard time over here with, with with a few things. Um. Yeah. Uh. It's okay though. I'm good. I'm alright, guys. Uh, this one's from Joey12304. And it's fucking awesome. Hold on. Beautiful. Beautiful, J Chan. An absolutely stunning, stunning J Chan. Um, she looks beautiful. I love her various limbs. Like a kind of uh, Hindu god. Right? Holy shit, she's beautiful. Joey. Thank you so much, bud. I love with that, that business she's got going on behind her, too. That, uh... Jeez, I don't even know what you'd call that. Like, that, uh... That pattern that's back there. It's just fucking amazing. It's meant to be a tarot card, uh, Great Space? Is that what it is? It's a tarot card, huh? Based based on a, on a tarot card. Uh, Joey, love this man. Thank you again. Wow. Uh, this one is from Ben C. Dev. Really fucking cool. 3D rendered mask boy. Right, he looks fucking cool as hell. I love him. Oh my god, that's so cool, Ben. Thank you so much. It's like a Super Mario RPG vibes. Yeah, he looks like, a, like an enemy or even a, a party member in, in, in an RPG or something, right? It's so cool. You saying he's got Geno vibes? Because I, I, I could feel the Geno vibes, yeah. Uh... Gino, but good. Kyle, why are you trying to start an argument in like the last fucking like 30 seconds of my stream, dude? Uh, this is from Rollapoid. Um, got a, a, a chonker bungle puss and a really fun, uh, like kind of a gajinka cat girl type deal, right? Bungle Chan, she's cute as fuck. Love this, Rollapoid. Thank you. And here's the, um, the cat, isolated, right? Bungapuz loves her lasagna. And boy, don't, do not get her started on Mondays, right? Thank you real quick. Uh, this one's from Primal Screen Guy, Jim. Which door, narrator? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I did have a good time playing this game tonight, guys. I, I, I did. I did. I mean, listen, I got a little bit exhausted with it towards the end. 
Like I was, it was, it was just kind of like, okay, we get it, but um, I don't hate this game anymore. I don't hate this game. I, I, just, I just, I just don't, I just don't like it that much. Is that, is that, is that fair? Like, is that? All right, Punstar says, Mike, before you end the stream, I must confess that I had a dream where you promised us a feet stream and streamed yourself with one of those fish that eat dead feet skin. But you had a weird one that started eating chunks of your feet. And as the water turned bloody, the chat was flooded with pogs. All right, Punstar, why did you wait so long to tell me about that? We could, I could have spent an hour talking about that. And, and all right. First of all, did that dream even happen, guys? I don't even think that dream happened. That's a night. That's some nice bait that you're chumming the waters with there, Punstar. But that dream didn't. That dream didn't even happen. It happened for real. I was working all stream. That dream did not happen. Nobody here believes that dream happened. I wish that it did. Okay, do me a favor. I want to discuss that next time, but I have to piss. Okay? Just like remind me, we'll discuss that next time. Uh, Bone Boogity made some really fucking awesome looking little, um... It's, it's Bungle Puss and Squan Dog out of clay. I love them. Oh my god, they're cute. Thank you. Joey says, hold on, there's five Stanley parables? No, uh, Joey, there are six Stanley parables, okay? There are six Stanley parables. Try to keep up, okay? Uh, finally, we got one, one more, uh, piece of art, I think, from Ace Fishes. Uh, and it looks like, uh, it's me with my bucket o shit. Getting ready to carve my name in the side. Um fucking awesome thank you so much uh it's ace fishes ace fishes thank you really cool and i think that's gonna do it for the art oh apparently it's not we got a johnny come lately from also from ace fishes it's uh me with my figly calling the stanley parable overrated and um I think I'm going to stand by that for a very long time. It's an interesting game, but it is a um, a game that gets a lot of praise that I don't really necessarily think it deserves. And that's how I think I'm going to feel about this game forever. I don't hate it. I mean, that, that's where I'm at. This this image just really sums it up, and you know what? I gave it a really a really fair shake tonight. It deserved it in 2013, but it lost it over the years. Perhaps. Watch out, Mike. Someone might tell you that saying something is overrated has no meaning. I'm gonna see you guys. Um, yeah, probably tomorrow. I don't know. Guys, thanks again for watching. Thank you so much again for all the support. I'll see you soon.